So I have a good video for you guys today because like I said before, you guys have been asking me what my thoughts were on the 14 inch Arlen Ness Big Brake Rotor Kit. So what I can tell you guys is after about a little over 100 miles, the stopping power is definitely noticeable. You could definitely feel the difference between the 14 inch Arlen Ness rotors and the stock rotors. But there is one issue. So as you guys probably already know, if you have a car with older brakes if you go to hit the brake pedal and you get like that vibration in the pedal chances are your rotors are either warped or the pads are bad so that's kind of what I'm getting on the bike now when I go and try to grab a handful of brake I don't necessarily feel it in the brake lever I feel it in the front a little wobble pretty much the same feeling as you would get in a car so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change out the front brake pads. I got a set of Lindell high performance brake pads. We're going to change them out because I should have actually changed them out when we replaced the rotors. I never replaced the brake pads and now we have a new set of rotors on the bike. Those old pads are seated and bedded against our stock Harley Davidson Road Glide rotors. What we need to do is we need to replace those pads so this way our new pads could bed and seat properly against our new rotors. So that's what we're going to do today we're going to get a bunch of tools out right now I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. it's really really simple super super easy two bolts that hold the caliper and then there's a another bolt slash pin that actually holds the brake pads from actually falling out of the caliper and then what we're gonna do is after once we're done we're gonna take the bike for a ride and I'll let you guys know my thoughts While the pads are still in here, you could put in a big screwdriver and just twist it and that will push in the piston in the caliper. So after you open this up and push that piston inside in, you gotta take out this pin right here, this bolt, because that bolt actually goes through that hole holding in both of the pads. So we're gonna take that out. So this way we could take out our old pads. See right there. Now you can take out the pads. Now we're gonna put our new ones back in. Now we're gonna put our bolt back in. Then there's like this little tiny cotter pin right there and that just goes back onto that bolt. And that basically prevents extra protection, prevents that pin from coming out. Some blue Loctite back on these bolts for the caliper. And that's it. Very simple. Two bolts, like I said, on the other side, another bolt, which actually goes through these two holes. So it's basically like that. And then that bolt goes right through those holes. So this way it prevents the pads from ever coming out. Super simple, one side done. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side now. And then we'll take the bike for a ride and we're gonna have to bed these in. I'm gonna go quite uh, at a good speed and then basically start bedding in the pads, meaning I'm gonna start applying some good pressure to them uh, a couple times. And then we'll see, hopefully that solves our problem as far as the front shaking a little bit, applying, you know, while we're applying brake pressure. Let's go ahead and do that now. I'm gonna finish up and then let's take her for a ride. All right guys, so this is a couple days later after I installed the new brake pads, the new Lindell uh, high performance brake pads on the bike. It's a little warmer obviously than the day I was doing it. The day I was doing it was probably about 9, 10 degrees. We're in the 30s today. So I'm just gonna take it for a short spin, come back, I'm gonna seat the brakes, and then I'll let you guys know if that brake uh, lever fluctuation uh, is gone.
nice brisk little ride worked out really well I'll explain to you guys in a second here this thing let me tell you it's like a raped ape <laughs> raped ape get it silverback <laughs> but anyway enough of my corny jokes that definitely did the trick so now we changed out the brake pads and I just obviously went on a couple minute ride you know started to bed the front brake pads in new brake pads into these rotors and absolutely zero fluctuations zero bouncing zero vibrations in the front end so that definitely fix that problem again if you guys are going to put on new rotors onto your bike i would highly recommend change them brake pads don't even think about it just change the brake pads when you're getting any kind of new set of rotors it doesn't matter so this way they all see together as one so i hope this video helped you guys if any of you guys are doing new from brake rotors or like i said even if you guys are changing out to stock rotors but new change those brake pads don't even think about it you'll save yourself a big headache so we'll see you guys on the next one, guys. Peace out.